reaction hi guys welcome back to my channel i feel like i just did this about two weeks ago because my march favorites was late and it was just like two weeks ago but that's okay i still have a few favorites for the month of april april yes april and our food just got here pause don't forget to follow me on all my social medias and that's glitter underscore mimosas for twitter snapchat and instagram they said 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah, it hasn't been 40 minutes, but that's okay. Chinitos, we ordered Chinese food. I just got back from watching The Avengers. Just kidding. We got back from seeing Captain America, The Avengers were in it. It was awesome. I had to keep the shirt on because it was such a great movie. We're gonna go watch it again week or two um i didn't know what to expect the reviews were amazing it's supposed to be the best movie of the summer and i think it will be i was so happy with it okay back to makeup the first product i'm gonna start with is i finally found a drugstore foundation that i i can get behind and it is the l'oreal true match super blendable makeup lotion in nude beige which is w3 which i believe is in the neutral because they have like warm olive and then just neutral undertones so this is i believe in the neutral and i've been using this for work i really love it i it's not pop it's not my favorite drugstore foundation but i haven't found one that's my favorite so this is pretty up there and i use this with just my beauty blender on a daily basis the second item, and I'm going, I didn't realize how much I liked it until I realized that I was done with it, and it is, hmm, the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer, and this is in Ivory 10. The name is like rubbed off. I use this for work as well. My makeup for work is usually very simple, and I do the same routine pretty much every day. I don't do eye makeup, I just... A little mascara foundation I warm up my face and that's about it so this has been my go-to for work I have to replace it it is up there with my Maybelline uh, fit me <laughs> my Maybelline fit me concealer which I absolutely love I have backup of those I that's pretty much my favorite but this is a close second and I really enjoy this one and then I finally purchased my first Physicians Formula bronzer and I picked up the butter bronzer in the color bronzer. I think there is two. I think there's like a, this is a darker one. Isn't it? it smells like you're on a beach, you're on vacation. It smells like suntan lotion and coconuts. I swear it's so amazing. What I usually wear this just to warm up my face a little bit. I contour with something cool toned and then I go over with this and I can smell it when I get to work and it just, it's such a good feeling. It feels like you're on vacation when you're not. And then I use this butter bronzer with this Morphe brush, the M527. I got this in the Morphe Me and at first I thought, mm, I don't think it's picking up a lot of products. I was a little bit like, whatever about it. and. I just kind of warm up my face. I like it because it's not sharp, so it's not going to give you a contour line. Just kind of my cheeks and a, the little forehead that I have, which I don't put a lot of um, bronzer because it's going to make my forehead look smaller. And it is tiny already. It's very tiny. The widow's peak and then, yeah. There's nothing I can do about it. And then I have one more brush, and this is the e.l.f. blending brush, and I use this to contour my face. Last month, I, yeah, last month, I, um, the Wet n Wild Contour Palette, and I've been using this with it. This kind of will give you a chiseled look without being super sharp. You can't really mess up, almost. It's just got an odd shape. It is kind of tapered, but I don't know. It just, it works really well. And if I feel that it's still too tight of a contour just going with a bigger brush and kind of blend it out that's why this is really helpful because i warm it up and i kind of diffuse it a little and it doesn't look as contoured so these two have been 
in my everyday use. And that's it for makeup, but I have two skincare products. And this is something that I purchased a long time ago. And I used it and then I stopped using it and I was like, whatever. And then I went back to using it and it is the face the Soap and Glory Face Soap and Clarity 3-in-1 Daily Detox Vitamin C Facial Wash. Facial Wash. It's kind of funny. And I always take off my makeup with makeup wipes. That's the, the first layer. But then I go back in with this. And thanks to my mom who got me this for my birthday, I use this with it. So I go in, makeup wipe, remove, uh, remove all my makeup. And then I will wet this a little bit, put about a nickel size, and just kind of spread it around a little, and go into my face, five seconds, five seconds, five, 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 and it leaves my skin so soft. And I can see that it removes the makeup. Sometimes cleansers don't remove makeup, and you can still go in with a wipe after and get some excess. So this, I thought I removed all my makeup with a makeup wipe, and this will remove whatever is left. Like you can see a little bit of the foundation left. So I love that I know for sure I took up all my makeup. All of it. Of course, for music, I've been listening to the new Drake album. That goes without saying. I can't say it was a monthly favorite because it came out towards the end of the month, but it's awesome. I love Drake. And I haven't been watching anything other than like nothing special, but I have been watching The Flash and Arrow. And I'm on I just saw the last episode of Flash yesterday, and I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm so nervous, I can't wait till this week's. It's not something that I would have seen on my own, but he watches them and we watch it together, and now I'm so invested in them that I have to know what happens. Like, I know he's in the next episode, but I don't know what happened. And I don't want to spoil it, but it was really good. So those are the two shows that I've been watching with him. I haven't been been watching binge watching anything I'm gonna start um, there's a show that I wanted to start but my Netflix wasn't working yesterday I'll tell you what it is now my friend posted about it oh I think it took a screenshot just kidding I think it's Frankie and something babe You're supposed to know these things. Oh, I found it. So it's a Netflix original series and it is Grace and Frankie. I want to start watching that. I know that they just, um, I think they just released the second season. So I'm probably going to, I will probably binge watch that. Okay. I was speaking really fast. I'm really excited about my food. I'm very hungry. So with that being said, this was my favorites for the month of April? April? Yes. April. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Blah, blah. Hit the like button. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.